Two women and a man. They come through. They come through the front. Is one consoling the other? You know, the woman, one of the women. She's got like a bonnet on, and yeah. she's upset. Oh my God. She's upset. She's upset. Yes. Do you know this? Did yes. Have you seen this? Okay. Yes. And the guy is um, shorter, stout. Yeah. And the two women, one of them is consoling the other one. Yeah. So you're saying that you've actually seen this? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They stop right there at the corner, and one woman sort of breaks down, and the other one is yes. aiding her over her shoulders. And the guy stands like further towards the back door saying, Come on, we've got to go. Yeah. And this is something that happens over and over again. Yeah, it's oh an imprint. It's an imprint. That's what it is. It's residual. Wow, that is. I have. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> that has that happened over and over. Yeah. Yep, it's it's like they come in the door together, the two women stop right there to the right of the double doors. The guy stands in the middle, and he, and one woman is like, I don't want to say nailing, but she's she's down. It's like she's frail, like she's yeah. Like, and the other woman yeah. is like over her shoulders and mm -hmm. consoling her and talking. Yeah. Right, right next to her head. Really. And left in her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And an the gentleman is short, stout. Reminds me of um, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> the guy in Winnie the Pooh. Well, so when you see this, you don't Robinson. get a bad feeling? Yeah. <laughs> you don't get a bad feeling? No, no. This it's a a sad. It's a, it's so a, I'm sure there's uh, a funeral or something at one point. Yeah. Yeah. And I get a sense of a child yeah. is um, connected with that. Yeah, somehow. see, and I get vibes on that when you say that. Yeah. yeah. I, I get and the it. woman had a bonnet on. The woman who's upset, she has a bonnet on, a hat, bonnet of some kind. Maybe her child died at some point and the funeral was here or something. See, what I get is I get it's an imprint, right. and what the imp and the reason that it's imprinted was is because of the emotion. The the emotion was so strong that it created the imprint of it. Yeah. That's why it keeps. It's not actual spirits. Do you understand what I mean when I say okay? I don't. It's. I don't either. It's like. It's like if you had a job, where every day you came in this front door, unlocked it, closed it, did the same thing every day, sat down in a chair, and you did that every day for 30 years, okay? That energy, it's like an imprint on time. Now, depending on how strong of an imprint or what kind of energy or emotion was behind it, in 100 years, if this building was still standing, somebody could see that energy residue, like an imprint, could see you coming in every day and think it's a ghost, coming in, opening the door and sitting down, and then you disappear, you know what I mean? It's an imprint, it's like a stamp. And that's what this procession is, it's an imprint. They don't see you, they don't acknowledge you, they don't no. notice you. No. And that's the difference. Because if it were if it were a spirit or of any kind, it would acknowledge you or, or interact with you in some way. An imprint does not do that because there it's not a conscious it's it's not a conscious. It's like a vapor trail behind, behind a star. What did you say? A vapor trail behind exactly, a star. Exactly, exactly. It just goes, it, it just continues, it goes. And depending on the significance of the timing, you know, whether it's the anniversary of, of the imprint, the act itself, I mean, it, you, you never know when it's going to happen, but that is an imprint. It's not spirit, it's an imprint. Mm. It's cool. It was an honor nonetheless. It was an honor nonetheless. But see, I don't get that... She says, as long as you don't relegate her to the back room, she's okay. As long as people can still see me, I'm okay. That's what she says. Okay? Right. She just wants people to see her. And to know, to know that she, she exists. She existed. She exists. She's here. You know? And I don't get that she's an earthbound. I just get that she likes, she, she, see, I don't get that she's here all the time. I just get that she comes in, especially... Now you said you just moved that. How long ago did you move that there? I moved that um, three weeks ago. So it used to be on the other wall. Now you've noticed in the past three weeks the energy change in the front, right? Oh yeah. And that's because I, I don't feel like she was around it when it was when it was over someplace else. I don't feel like she was here all the time when it was there. Mm -hmm. But now that it's near the front, it's almost like <laughs> it's. The way, 
the way she says it to me, it's like her second calling to now come in and, and greet your customers as they come in, you know? She thinks she works here. Yeah. <laughs> and see, I get that she's the one, she looks out the window. I get that she's the one who looks out the window, too. Done. In addition, what's going on over here? There's a red-haired boy over here with a lot of freckles. Um, see, I want to go with the name Scott with him. Scott? I don't know if that's a first name or a last name. Could be a first name. But he's a red-haired boy with freckles. What's he doing? He's standing there with his arms crossed like this. He's got his arms crossed. And he's telling us that some of this stuff used to be his. Some of this stuff used to be his. Does this make sense to you? How, how, I mean... Okay, hold on. Some of this stuff is pretty old. Can you tell what era he's from? Yeah, now? I get that he's from the 70s. I get he's from the 70s. How old is he? He's about 12. 12, 13, 12. I feel like he's from the... See, I want to... I cross my arms like this because this is the way he's standing. He's like right here and he's like... He's like... Some of this stuff used to be mine. You know what I mean? It's like he's putting his two cents He's getting in. territorial about it. Yeah. Why do you yeah. say 70s? Is it because he's badly dressed? <laughs> no. <laughs> because that's, that's what he shows me. That's, that's the era that he's from. Does he mind that his things are here? Yes and no. What he... He doesn't like it. Oh, he doesn't like it when the other kids come and play with his stuff. That's what he doesn't like. So he can he, see the other kids. Yeah, yeah. Can they see him? Yeah, but... Hmm. Do you ever have kids who come in with families who go over and play with stuff that's over oh, yeah. here? He doesn't like that. We don't either. He doesn't like mm. that. <laughs> he doesn't like that. We'd be it's upset. not the spirit kids, it's the, it's the people kids. who would be upset if we touched him. Um, yeah, he wouldn't be happy. Would yeah. he do something to show his displeasure? No, he's just going to get upset. He's just going to get upset if you do. He says that's like teasing, that's not fair. That's what he says. We won't cheat him. No. Can he show us that he's here? You know what, I think this is the red-haired freckled boy who kept popping in on medium night last month. The red-haired kid. Nobody will not own up to him. He popped yeah. in like four or five times. Yeah. I think that's him. Do you get a name on him? I, I want to go with Scott. But I want to go, see, I want to go back and forth between Andrew and Scott, so I don't know if his name was Andrew Scott, like a first name and a middle name, or first name and a last name, or Scott Andrews. I mean, it's not always easy with the names, mm -hmm. you know, it's like speaking to China with, you know, two tin cans and string, <laughs> you know, but that's what I feel like, he doesn't like it when, when kids come in and play with the stuff. Not upset because we're here. No, I get that he's just kind of sad. I get he's kind of sad. The blue orb is moving. Yeah, the blue orb over there is moving. He thinks they're pretty. Um, see, I get that he misses his mom, but. See, I want to call him Scott. Scott Andrews. Scott Anderson, Scott, Scott Andrews, Scott Anderson. Anybody know that name? No? Anybody? His last name is either Andrews or Anderson. Can Andrews. we get him to maybe move the, uh, the globe if it is his name? It's moving. Yeah, he can hear you. I mean, I can't make them do stuff. If they want to do it, they will. And they can hear what you say. So you can always ask. Can you move the globe for us a little bit more so we know that it's you? See, 
See, I get the green one as his favorite. He likes the green one. You like the green one. I feel like, does the sun shine through the green one in the morning or something and make a cool reflection or something? He likes the Could green you move one the, the green best. One for us, please? Just let us know you're here. We want to see you. <laughs>